and died. There was a young lady last night who said, we're creators because our creator is the creator. And whatever it is that's a distraction, whatever it is that's holding you back, whatever hurt that you experienced when you were growing up, whether it was from a parent or whether it was from a family member, a significant other, a friend, you have to let that pain go. God's telling me to tell whoever it is tonight that you need to go home and you need to write it down on a piece of paper. Write down all that hurt. Write down that pain. And once you're done, rip it up and throw it in the trash and let it be because whatever you hold on, that's a distraction. Holding on to bitterness, holding on to resentment, holding on to unforgiveness. God can't allow new things to come in when we're holding on to all those things. So I don't know what it is, and I feel that it's still there, and it's slightly being released. But what is that distraction for you? What is it that you know that you're supposed to be doing, but you haven't done it? What is it that you're scared to do because you don't believe that you can do it? Naya shared a video today, and it said you need to be comfortable being alone. Because in those alone moments, that's when we realize the power that we have inside. And it's not us acting on our own, but it's him. And then that's when we can praise and worship our way through. That's when we can pray our way through. That's when we can encourage ourselves through. If we're relying on people to give us affirmations, if we're relying on people to say that they appreciate us, if we're relying on people to constantly give us that reassurance, we can't be who he called us to be. So right now, I want you to close your eyes, and I just want you to just take this 10 seconds here just to feel God's presence and allow him to burn up what is inside your stomach. I want you to touch your stomach and allow him to start burning up everything inside of you that is not of him and allow him to grow what's inside of you so that you can do what it is that you're called to do. Okay, so just give him that moment of silence. He's trying to get your attention, and he wants you in silence. He's allowing these things to happen because he's hoping that it will bring you to your knees to humble you to say, God, I can't do this on my own. God, I want you to go ahead and intervene. He doesn't want you to do it alone. He wants to step in. He wants to help you, but he wants to break down that spirit of pride. He wants to break down those barriers. He knows what it is that you're experiencing. He knows what it is that you've been through. And 2020, he does not want you to leave the same way that you came in. It's not just your life that's rising and depending on it. It's your generations to come. And there's a reason why you're here. So we're going to go ahead and close out with a prayer. We're just going to let God have his way. God, we cover everyone in the blood. We know that your word says that you have called to set us free, that you're a redeemer, that you want us to live life abundantly, not in fear, not in a scarcity, lack mindset, oh, Father God. And we know that you know everything that we've gone through and what's hindering us, oh, Father God. Continue to bring people into our lives who will bring out what's already inside of us. Continue to separate those from us who will bring us further away from your vision. Separate us as far as the east is from the west, oh Father God, and cover us and cover our children. Give us peace of mind so that we're no longer double-minded, one foot in, one foot out, oh Father God, but that we're hot and on fire and no longer lukewarm. We declare these things in the blood, knowing that it will be not stopped our blocks, but it will do everything that it was set out to do in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Woo!